I got a 2011 Buick Enclave. I'm going to be installing the radio. So first of all, if you install the radio, you need one of the two right there. I mean, don't have to be like this. It's metal. Uh, you can get that um, advanced auto part for about $5. It's called dual trim removal tool. So first of all, I'm going to start off from right here. Go underneath here and just pry it up. I didn't break this, so somebody did it before. But uh, yes, when you pry it, you don't want to pry it so hard that you can break this piece right there. So come over here and just pry it really lightly because you don't want it. That's how it breaks right here. And you go, keep going down. And someone installed this already, and I don't know what's going on right now. I know that the radio is not working. So there's something. See? Nothing. So it's losing some sort of power that's not connected, that's not playing. I don't know. I can hear something earlier over there, but I'm just going to take these 7 millimeter. One, two, three. It's only three, so there should be four, but that's okay. I'm just take this whole thing out right there. Pull this thing and hold this uh, uh, plastic, the black plastic, and shake it a little bit and pull it down. And push this clip right there and kind of shake it a little bit. It should come up. Same as this, push, and it should come out. And that's it. We're going to start installing the radio. In order to do this, you can go to metroonline.com. You can see right there, metroonline.com, and you click on 2011 Buick Enclave. It will tell you what it is. See, you need a mounting kit. If you do a double den, you need 993305. You need a single den, 993305. I'm sorry, 95 is double den, and 99 is single den. So you need the antenna adapter. You will need 40 CR10. And you're going to need a wiring harness. Now, the wiring harness can be a couple of different things. You can get the expensive one. Like this, that's really expensive. That's about two hundred dollars, and then you can get the this model right there. That's what we're gonna be doing. Except the one we're doing is green. It's called AXT C LN twenty nine, and and that one is a hundred. Ooh, that can't be. Yeah, that's not it. Uh, we did a cheaper version. It's not that same brand. It's more like this one. AXVI dash two one zero five, and they about forty dollars somewhere in that range. Huh. I can't believe it's $100. I, I forgot what the customer paid for it, but uh, this is what you need. It should be less than that. It should be about 69 bucks, And uh, and that's it. So I'm going to start uh, wiring the color to color. So what he's doing, he's wired color to color, but the blue, blue and white, if it's got a built-in amplifier, you need to hook it up to the blue and white. And then there's also, since this is a model, it's a Pioneer uh, DMH-10BT. That's a Bluetooth, everything built in. You will need this green wire hook up to the ground so you're gonna have one green wire to two ground because the ground from this plug right there and the ground from the uh, pioneer and the rest just color the color i'll show you a little bit more while i'm gonna be doing the wiring i'm gonna be doing the uh the radio install so uh like i said it's 99.3305 is the mounting kit for this if you're looking at this mounting kit you're gonna need this model right there not this one right there this is the wrong one so you need this one and see it's the same so this is on the top and you're looking at this one, the, uh, so this is on the top. So this is, it, you see it as left, D, D, X, L, left, that's wrong right there. So we need to take this and put on the other side, but we don't do that yet. We got to, I'm just going to take it, it out because this is wrong. So when I do the video, I do basically kind of live video. I don't do much shortcut, I mean, not shortcut, but I don't do much editing. So you want to put right, see, it's say right. D, D, X, R mean it's right. So you want to put like this, and then you know this is on the top, and this, that on the bottom so you just start by putting in this side first right here like this slide that in it's kind of hard to do one hand like this like so and you do the opposite oh. yeah once you got both sides you just slide it in like that and then you flip it on each side so you can put the screw in see you flip it and push it down like this and then slide the screw in the screw that came with the radio oh so far this is a model number this is uh, uh well it's made in china it's a uh, call side harness for M WGM11. I mean, it's probably the cheaper version. It, I, I tried to program the uh, the uh, steering wheel control, but it's not compatible with my system. So I installed everything right there. As I mentioned to you, red is accessory to the red, yellow to the yellow. But when you're installing this model, make sure these wires are not hooked up. It's light, uh, light green, purple. Well, orange, you can hook it up if you want. And then you got blue and light green. These are the ones that you don't hook up. You just want to make sure you got gray, gray, black, white, white, black purple purple black and uh green and green black you need to hook up to the same one the only different is part is that you want to hook up this black wire from the uh aftermarket harness to the black wire of the pioneer that we're going to be installing and then you got the light green for a break so in case most of this pioneer if you had more than five uh bluetooth in here if you don't hook up this green wire it will not work you cannot play it so you're going to have to hook this thing up for the brake switch so now i'm going to just take it oh I don't know if I mentioned this already or not because I got something distracting me about that. So you got left right there and then the right and then you need some screw. That's usually screw come with it. And now we're going to go to the car. So I got the antenna adapter. I'm going to be hooking up. I'm looking for the antenna. Where is that antenna at? Oh, antenna's right here. I'm plug that antenna. 
And then I got the remote where I'm gonna hook it up for him because he's gonna need the, uh, I need to grab the radio real quick. I'm gonna plug the uh, remote to the, uh, oh, I can't even see. Uh, subwoofer right there. SW means subwoofer or R means rear. So I'm gonna put top red. It doesn't matter which one you, you wanna put, the blue to the red or white to the red or whatever. It doesn't matter because it's just a speaker in the back for the subwoofer. But I like the kind of blue go to the red. And then he doesn't have a backup camera, so we're not gonna touch that. We're gonna plug the pen adapter in here. I don't know my cameraman can get to that or not. And next thing you wanna do, you wanna plug this green plug to this, uh, I don't know how many pin that is. It, it, it's probably a 20 pin or 16 pin. I'm, I'm not sure that came with the uh, harnesses. And then I'm going to plug this main plug, the power one first, which got the yellow in. And then I plug the smaller one. Next thing I would do is plugging the the the, atom, uh, the, the radio back, the uh, Pioneer plug back. And like I said, I tried to get that SW, where is that? WRY remote. I'm going to plug that in just for the heck of it. And Trying to get all this thing back in. Sometimes you might have to cut this on a certain radio, but I don't think you have to do this one. The plastic in the back I'm talking about. And I haven't tried yet, so I'm not going to push it all the way in. I'm going to just play with it make sure everything is working first before I put it in. So let's turn it on, see if it works, because previous customer said something ain't right. And he's right, something ain't right. No power. So what that means is the main power right there is not working. I'm going to use a test light. So now I'm going to put a, uh, a test light uh, other side to the black, to the uh, antenna, so that's the same as brown. I'm going to test the yellow wire. Yellow wire should give out uh, 12 volt all the time. That's the problem right there. See, guys? So without the power working, the radio ain't going to be working. You see that? No power. So that means the accessory ain't going to work too because it needs power to uh, provide the green, uh, uh, I say, box right here. So now I'm going to go to the fuse looking for, to see what's wrong with it. After I check the front fuse, it's not out there, so it's up here, right here. So what you want to do underneath this two piece right there, the clip, you want to remove this first, and then you can pull it out. It's a type of clip. I don't know the type name, but uh, and then you want to look at right there. You see, 15 is radio. And then sometimes the instrument panel, I forgot the instrument panel working or not. I'm gonna check if it's an amplifier issue. It's this one. But I'm gonna go to the radio. It's 15 on top of this right there in the middle, right next to. Let me see, one, two, three, four. The fourth one from the bottom. I'm not gonna be able to show you, but uh, you're looking right there to the light. Right there, Ooh, it's hard to focus, but you can see right there, see it's that black, that, that open spot right there, that's black. So after to put the fuse in, I heard the radio coming on, and as you can see right here, we'll check it out, it should be off when the door is closed, like a uh, trimmer. I don't know if it's something wrong with this green uh, box or not, it's staying on, so, uh, the red wire is supposed to be on when you turn the key on, or uh, it should be off when you turn the key off. So what I did, I ran the... Uh, red wire right there for the accessory and I'm gonna go to the light green plug right there the uh, BCM and pin 21 there's two brown wire one brown wire is on pin number 22 3 4 10 to 5 20 either 25 or 26 you want on the 21 it should be hard to see right there under uh on top of the 27 so right there on that brown plug right there it's hard to see so look at 21 brown plug and you plug the red wire make sure you put the fuse so what i did right there i uh take the test light just to make sure that it's, it is the right wire no power right so when you turn the key the accessory it works see so that is the right wire so i did fuse it just in case you always have to fuse it and then i'm going to cut the red wire of the uh, uh pioneer right here this red wire because it's got a short we don't know where the short is at so like i said that's the best way to do it is just to bypass that whole thing completely and make sure you tape the end of it too so that way there's a short looks like he taped something over here too so he did try to look at that accessory white stain yeah, and then uh put that red wire right here knock off yeah. so yes that red wire right there so now i'm gonna put the radio back in and see if it works here it is right now. I'm just going to test it. Make sure everything works. The power is on. It come on. And play radio. It should be only one speaker running because the uh, previous guy installed the uh, speaker to the factory amplifier and it's not powered up and it's not hooked up. It's got pulled. So yes, it does work. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put everything back and call the customer up.